It's going to be mind blowing. Mind blowing. So what we're going to now is a top secret project. Here we are in front of Voro Motors and now we're gonna go over the E-Move line and what scooter is gonna be best for you. So yeah, let's start out with the E-Move Touring. This one is the most portable scooter out of all the E-Move scooter lines. It's 39 pounds, has a 500 watt motor, should go up to about 25 miles per hour and has a decent range on it. There's nothing complex about the scooter because it's just a single brake. It's a rear drum brake, so it takes very little to no maintenance on that braking system. But really compact, it can go down and can accommodate younger children and can also be pulled up for adults. But it gets ultra portable because the handlebars drop on there the stem comes down it'll drop down ultra portable 39 pounds really easy to carry with one arm and easy to carry upstairs one thing about these necks though is you definitely want to make sure it clicks into place because right here it looks like it's gonna ride but if I was to ride this and drop off a curb it fold on me so when you go to open it up make sure it makes that clicking noise and one of the best features about the e-move touring is it comes in five different colors Everybody loves choices with scooters. A lot of the scooters only come in black, but when you want to express yourself, there's nothing better than choosing your favorite color on a scooter. We get so infatuated with these high performance scooters that are so big, so fast, so expensive, and so heavy that the E-Move Touring makes an argument for a lightweight, inexpensive, zippy scooter that'll get you from point A to point B comfortably because it has suspension, it's easy to carry, and it feels good. And so when you're in a big city like Los Angeles, New York, San Francisco, and you're using public transportation, then something like the E-Move Touring is a great scooter to get you around. This is really the complete package for me. It has a horn, which most scooters don't have a horn in the $800 range. The electrical horn, and it also has this nice bell on here. It has keyed entry as well. I have not seen a keyed entry scooter underneath $1,000. So that's a huge thing for me is you have a little bit of extra added security, but the scooter is very light. So even though they can't ride it away, they can pick it up and take it away. So you still want to use a lock. But just these key features in here on a budget-friendly scooter and with our coupon code, it's even less than $900. The other thing I will say about the keyed entry in the lightweight portable scooter market, it can help prevent a nosy roommate, a classmate, coworker from taking your scooter for a joyride. The braking power on the E-Move Touring isn't as strong because it's only one brake and it's a solid rear tire. So just be conscious of that. This thing can get a little bit slippery, which leads us to the E-Move Cruiser. Very similar features as the E-Move Touring except for it has two brakes, has twice the motor size, so it's a thousand watt motor. It weighs 52 pounds, so it's 13 pounds heavier than the E-Move Touring. This is the ultimate machine for anybody who wants a long range scooter. I've seen people quoting 53 miles of range on this. I think with the newer motor, you go faster, so you'll go up to 33 miles per hour. So you do eat up a little bit of that range, but you're gonna get close to 50 miles range on the scooter. It's relatively affordable, plus we also have a coupon code. This is their newest color that they're offering. This is what they call electric blue. Best part about the E-Move Cruiser and E-Move Touring is you can choose your color that you like. For me, my wife would love this color. Anything that I pull out that has this type of color on it, my wife's always like, that's so pretty. This has great suspension in the front. So you have two suspension pieces here. You have a very wide deck. This deck is gigantic for a commuter scooter. So it's one of the most comfortable decks that I've ever seen on a commuter scooter. It allows you to shift your feet around because when you go on a 50 mile ride and you have a very narrow deck, you're gonna be feeling that. What things have they improved on the newest E-Move Cruisers? They've upgraded the motor from a 600 watt motor to a thousand watt motor. They've changed the handlebar. The original E-Move Cruiser that we rode on had a square handlebar on here and it was hard to attach accessories on it. They listened to the customer complaints and they've switched this to a rounded handlebar which makes things much easier to mount. It does have keyed ignition just like the E-Move Touring. This does weigh 52 pounds. The best part about the scooter is it has an IPX6 water resistance rating. That's designed to take huge direct sprays of water. Let's say the day started off nice and beautiful like today and then when it came time for you to commute to your next location it's raining and so you want something that's at least water resistant certified. Just realize that warranty does not come Cover water damage. So this has what they consider hybrid hydraulic brakes. <laughs> what it means is that's just a regular cable ran 
to the brake caliper and the brake caliper has hydraulic fluid inside of it. This is ultra portable as well. This will drop it down just like the e-move touring. This can be difficult to get open. As you can see, if I'm pulling on it, it's not gonna move. What I like to do is rock it back and forth and that thing pops right down. And it locks into place when folded. So it's very easy to lift and carry 52 pounds and it's really easy to pop open. So as you can see right here, easy to pop open. Make sure that pops into place. If this isn't locked into place, you'll see it out like this. So just make sure that it's sitting flush in there like that. To me, when I think of the E-Move Cruiser, I think of practical, because it has this amazing range, has a very comfy ride with a big deck. Yeah, and a great weight capacity. This can support up to 352 pounds. These are some of the best brakes on a budget-friendly scooter that we've ever found. And then the last scooter that we're going to go over is a scooter that they can't keep in stock. Ooh. Yeah, the Roadrunner is an awesome sit-down scooter. If you like the Fido but just hated that it went so slow, the E-Move Roadrunner is a scooter for you. And it's a sit-down scooter. I've always wondered why they call these sit-down scooters, and it's just simply because they have no pedals. That's why it's not considered a bike. This is the only dual-motor scooter that the E-Move is currently carrying, besides the Roadster that's coming soon. This has a front motor of 350 watts and a rear motor of 500 watts. So combine 850 watts with both motors. It goes up to 34 miles per hour and weighs 55 pounds. They came out with the first model, the second model, and they've also now released a third version of this. It just keeps getting better and better every time. It has the hybrid hydraulic brakes on there as well. This is a dual motor scooter, so you're gonna have great power going up hills. The other two scooters, they're gonna be fine going up hills, but they're gonna become a little bit sluggish. <laughs> strong brakes on this thing. Gotta be careful because the brakes are so strong that it does want to lean you forward, so make sure you lean back when you're braking with the Roadrunner. This does have collapsible handlebars, but it's not quite as compact as the other scooters. The display is a little bit harder to read during the day. You also have a front headlight on here. Not the brightest either. So if you're gonna be doing a lot of night riding, you may wanna upgrade for a light that attaches to the handlebar here. So you have turn signals on the scooter too. They're a little bit hard to see because they're covered by the cover. And one of the best parts about the Roadrunner is that it's got such big areas to modify. Tons of space to put a huge battery in, tons of space to put a huge control in. It's got 14 inch tires on it. It's much more comfortable than riding a 10 inch or 8 inch scooter. So if you like the E-Move Touring but you feel like you fill a lot of the cracks, you may want to upgrade to the E-Move Roadrunner because it's going to be a lot more plush riding experience due to the bigger tires and front suspension. The best part is the pricing on this. It's very affordable for a dual motor sit down scooter with a pretty large battery and ability to go over 50 miles of range. This scooter rips and that's the reason why they can't keep it in stock. That is the E-Move scooter lineup from Bora Motors. <laughs> Hold on one sec, we're not done with the Emu family just yet because Melvin, the head of Voro Motors, gave us a peek of their top secret project and the next addition to the Emu lineup. It's gonna be mind blowing. Mind blowing, so what we're going to now is a top secret project. It's a scooter that Voro, that Melvin and Voro have been working on. Right now we're gonna to get to see it in its prototype stage. It's not in the front area with the rest of the scooters. It's not even in this big beautiful warehouse. It's locked away upstairs. And so we're gonna go check it out. We had to go through security. If you feel like I'm asking a question that's making you uncomfortable. Right, right. Uh, no, no, I'm pretty comfortable. Okay. No, but this is a very old prototype now. We have figured out how to mass produce carbon fiber. Something that is very difficult to do. So this is legit carbon fiber then? Yeah, legit carbon fiber. Because oh. when you say carbon fiber right. scooter, I think Ryan. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> okay, right. this is a joint project? No, no. no. So it's okay. solely by us. Got it. Now this is a two-year-old prototype. It's obviously gone through multiple iterations and upgrades since, but we're getting a little peek at how this all started. Is that going to be different? Or are you guys still going with the we will, steering dampers? We'll have one steering damper. One steering damper. Yeah, because yeah. you almost don't need to. What do you think people are going to be most excited about this scooter. You know, obviously the carbon fiber, but what, what else is going to excite the community about this? It will be the first like mass produced scooter at 84 volts, sine wave controllers, a scooter that can easily be priced at $15,000 in the current market rate. Whoa. But I think we can easily do it under five grand. Wow. For sure. Really? Yep. Awesome. I'm stoked. Carbon fiber, sine wave, 
84 volts. Yep. What about carbon fiber is going to make this scooter worth paying that extra premium for? So it's much more durable. It's a very light material, right? And it looks very nice. Durable, lightweight, and looks nice. It sure does. Right, that's the smart dog. I got two golden doodles. <laughs> so they're... Cuban. 